How to stop bullies from taking your stuff at school. Are your things at school going mysteriously missing and you have a feeling that you are being bullied? These two facts can be linked and bullies may be taking your stuff. This can especially be plausible if you're not normally a forgetful or disorganized person. This is serious because bullying can be a serious crime and your things can have personal value or cost a lot of money. Follow these 11 simple steps to stop bullies taking your stuff. Steps 1. Make a list of your missing things. You may think that you can remember the items that have gone missing, but it is easy to forget so be sure to perform this step as quickly as possible. Make it as detailed as possible, include the dates and times when you noticed your missing items. 2. Label your items. That way, the teachers can't tell you off for losing your items without labeling them. If items are lost, they will be found quickly. If items are stolen, they will not be found at all or not as quickly. 3. Tell the teacher that your items have gone missing as soon as they disappear. If you wait for a few days or even one day, the bully will take your stuff home with them or destroy them and your items will never be recovered. You don't need to make a big deal out of it, just tell the teacher that your stuff has gone missing but make it clear that you haven't lost it. All you need to say is something like Mr. Mrs. Example, my pen has disappeared from my desk and I can't find it anywhere. Remember, the longer you leave it, the harder it will be to find your stuff or even implicate the bully. The teacher will also be more hard on you for not telling them sooner. 4. Tell your parents as soon as possible. Show them the list and give them enough evidence to prove that you are not just losing your items. Ask them for help and they may go to the headmaster, headmistress of your school, or perhaps just your teacher. If they are convinced that you are only losing your stuff, you have more work to do to gather evidence or evaluate yourself whether they are really just lost. 5. Watch where you keep your stuff. Make a mental note of when you remove your items from your desk or locker and make sure that it is all there when you return your items. Return to your desk or locker as soon as possible to make sure that nothing is missing after break times and or lessons. Once or twice a week you could spend a few minutes watching your desk or locker in a place where no one can see you, especially when you know the bully comes back from break or comes to the classroom or cloakroom at school. 6. Be cautious of leaving anything lying around. You're going to have to concentrate a lot on where you put your stuff and make a mental note if you put it down somewhere. Carelessness is not an option at this point, it is the only way in which you can expose the bully without any evidence suggesting that you're just losing your stuff. 7. Ask around. Find out from other people whether they have seen the bully removing stuff from the place where you keep it. Don't ask them if you know that they're close to the bully, because they'll just lie and then tell the bully that you asked. The bully will then work extra hard to be horrible to you and then steal more of your stuff, because that's just what bullies do. Put the people's names on your list who gave you valuable evidence with what they said or you could tell them to accompany you to your headmaster, headmistress with that evidence. 8. Note the link between when the bully is being particularly horrible to you and when your stuff goes missing. You may find that when the bully is being really horrible to you soon after an item goes missing. Include this on your list. You need to include every important detail and how they are being mean to you to create a really honest and believable account. 9. Use items to repel the bully from taking your things. Consider leaving a new lock on your locker or a post, it note explaining to the bully that if your stuff continues to go missing, you will go to the headmaster, headmistress. 10. Consider confronting the bully if you feel brave enough and know for sure that the bully is taking your stuff. If the bully starts denying it in a dishonest fashion and, or insults you, just walk away. The bully will most likely take one of your items after this if this confrontation provokes them, so this is a good time to collect evidence. 11. Remember that it's never your fault. It is the bully's fault for stealing your stuff. Always make completely sure that the bully is taking your items before you go to a teacher though.